Oh, is that code name based? Who's there? Oh, it's my cheek. Yeah, all right, everybody, we are here today taking a look at one of my more anticipated titles of this year. I've been following this one for a bit now, and we actually now have a playable demo. This right here is Reverse Collapse, code name based. No. I, you know, it's bakery, but you know, it's fine. It's, it's going to be a relatively base game as it is. This right here is going to be a strategy RPG, tactical combat, very, very nice art accompanying that too. It's probably an art style as well that will be familiar to a lot of you if uh, you happen to be familiar with this very little known game called Girls Frontline, I believe. Is that what it's called? A little, little unknown game called Girls Frontline. If you're familiar with that, this will definitely resonate with you because well, it's from the same development team, except this is a, a full blown out game and not, you know, something that you have to sink a lot of time and money probably into when it comes to mobile games. This is going to be its own legit release. Let's check it out. This morning, the chairman of the Eastern Contamination Control Association delivered the latest progress report on the refugee aid program operating within the Norton Caucasus region. According to the report, approximately 2,000 refugees have already been evacuated from contamination zones under the joint effort of the Association and the Union of Raul Satrism Nations Coalition. It's barely got that one out, huh? This is Fox 21 hailing Razor. Please respond if you copy. R Razor here, we copy. Please report Fox 21 over. Bakery! It's now with Fox 2-2. We'll head towards Extraction Point 3 once we rendezvous as per the plan. Please ensure the safety delivery over. Razor copies, the Extraction Point is secure, waiting your revival. Stay sharp, over. As is already standing by the Extraction Point, our lift will be here soon. Mendo, you alright? I'm fine, Captain. Just uh, slightly a bit uneasy. The operation turned out quite different than I'd imagine. Relax, son. Being an agent isn't all about fighting and killing. Instead of worrying about nothing, do something about your accent next time. Hearing your talk always makes me worry that we'd be exposed any second. <laughs> Sorry, Captain. I'll do better, a better job next time. <laughs> You'll get used to this soon enough. Rule number one of being an agent, your head is your strongest weapon. I got it. Uh, were all previous missions carried out at this place? I wish every mission went this smoothly. Thanks to the intel from our informant, we know that the URNC won't be patrolling this transportation route today. All we have to do is bring in the goods to the extraction point. We might even make it back in time for a drink tonight. Yeah, I hear bakery is, uh, rule number two of being an agent. Do not ask questions that are not for you to ask. Uh, yeah, sorry. Still, you'll see for yourself soon enough. Your job is to keep bakery safe. Uh, understood. I sort of complete this mission. 20 minutes later. Uh-oh. Uh, what was that? Damn it, RPG. We're being ambushed. Watson struck. Got blown up. Mendel, work that wheel and go around the wreckage. We need to make a break for it. I, I can't. The engine got shot. Uh, the bulletproof glass isn't going to hold for long. Mendel, grab your weapon and get out of the truck. All right, and here is the action. These are soldiers from the URNC. Was their route leaked? Yeah, they have the numbers. They got us good. Don't stand there waiting for dead. Fall back to the woods to cover yourself. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So we have a little bit of combat finally here to start off. Um, but unfortunately it does seem it wants me to follow whatever it wants to teach me, so yeah, let's go ahead and fall into some blockage here. Apparently here in the woods we have action negative three. Our accuracy does drop, but it does give us a little bit more evasion as well. Oh, uh, that's all we can do right now, so let's end our turn. Yo, Gramps is going off over there, huh? Oh, buddy, you gonna hang out there in the open? Have you never been in combat before? You don't hang out in the open. You gotta get into some woods, into some ruins, something. Can I blat this dude? Because I want to blat him. 
As a matter of fact, I could blat him right now. And I will. Get him out of here. Oh god. <laughs> Oops. They're catching up. Keep moving into woods and take the initiative to strike them. Uh, understood. So we have a bonus objective. Defeat the specified enemy units. Okay. I can beat the specified enemy units. I imagine it's these three fellas right here. So, do we have any shots right now is the question. 33% chance to hit. I don't like that. Oh, he's in the yellow. So yellow is no good. We need to get with then red. So how about we... If I move here, two reds, one yellow. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So we come over here. We might not be able to take two shots, or can we? Our shot's two AP? Oh, yeah, we should be able to take two of them. 63% chance to hit because he's got a little protection on him, but if we hit, he's out. Oh, we hit. And then... Same over here. Come on, baby. Let's roll again. Oh, let's go. Two boys down. That's all we can do. Okay. Got a little protection on him. But he's still gonna have that boost regardless of which because of the sand pile, right? Luckily we were... Apparently I am a sniper. With an automatic. I never miss. There's no more enemies in pursuit for the time being. This is Fox 2-1. This is Fox 2-1. We're under attack. I repeat. We're under attack. 2-2, two, two, do you copy? Anderson. Answer me. Damn it. Uh, signal's being jammed. Those bastards came prepared. Then we gotta ask Tasa for support. But the satellite phone is still on the truck. Uh, I might still be able to get to it. That's too risky. We can't go back into the enemy's range. But we'll be dead meat anyway if we let them corner us. Have you gone barking mad, Mendo? Freaking hell, get your ass back here this instant! I found it. Thank God it's still in one piece. Mendo, get down! What? Oh, you foolish man, Mendo. Who... Oh, is that codename based? Who's there? Oh, it's my cheek. You... I didn't think any of Mid's people would survive. D do you know Mid? Where's the med kid? In the truck, uh, under the back seat. Found it. Here, treat your wounds. Uh, thanks. At least none of my injuries are fatal. Oh, Captain. Carl! Captain! Did, did you kill these people all by yourself? Hmm. How do you know about this place? Why are you barefoot too? It's like snow. Should be killing you. Were you looking for something? You have a lot of questions. Who are you? You don't look like an ordinary civilian. How do you know so much about our situation? I think I hear footsteps. The enemy searching the area must have doubled back. I need to go. If you want to stay, be my guest. No, I need to catch up. Oh, thank goodness I still have my weapon. Satellite phone also survived. Time to go. Okay. So, I, I mean, we all know who that is. That's probably Bakery herself. I don't think Mendo knows it happens to be uh, Bakery, though. The target that we're supposed to be picking up, or quote-unquote the cargo, anyway. Ah, so you're coming after all. Who on earth are you? Why did you help me? I didn't. You just so happen to be lying there. I see. You never stopped to find your way despite the complex terrain. You seem very familiar with this place. Are you local? Stop talking. 
We have most definitely sent our teams out to search the area. If you don't want to die, stay close to me. Charging around like a bull will only make it easier for the enemy to find you. If you have time to worry about useless things, I'd rather get busy spotting your enemies. Looks like you really spot our enemies. Fine, I'll do it. It's a lot of enemies. Okay. So, all friendly units reach the objective point, yada yada yada, but our bonus is what I'm trying to hit here. Achieve the victory within 10 rounds, no friendly units have been in critical condition, and defeat 9 enemy units. Alright. Always let to make sure we hit our bonuses, you know? Excellent. So there's a lot on the screen here. Is there a way for us to... Oh yeah, move that out of the way, and uh, what about Y? Okay. It's a, it's a very busy UI, you know? So our boy is uh, really hurt here, by the way. Does he have any medkits? No. Didn't she pick up a medkit? No. <laughs> it was a storyline medkit only. Found fragmentation grenade. Perfect. Fortunately, I don't think uh, action points three. We got none left over. We can't blow anybody up. But again, we probably want to make sure that they're all bundled together before we do that. Could our girl make it over there in one? Oh. So it's very important, like, you know, it's not like in Fire Emblem, for instance, where, you know, you you move your cursor to where you want to go, essentially, and they look for the most optimal route. Here, it just depends on where you go. To. Like, you see what I've done here? Like, even if I try to come over here, I can't make it because of the route I chose for it. It's very intriguing how it works. So you got to be very pinpoint accurate with exactly what you're trying to do here. So this will definitely get us here and put us into coverage as well. Medicine. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Especially for my boy over here. That's all we can do for this turn, so for now, let's just wait. It's a very intriguing movement system, though. Out in the open, you ding-dongs. You know what I like? I like what I'm seeing over here. We could potentially... Blad blad each one of them. Maybe. But, we just picked up grenades, right? 40 points of damage, how does the grenade work? Oh, baby. <laughs> I mean, you could have taken shot by shot by shot, but we got a grenade for all of them right there in one go. Now, Mama, could we have you, perhaps, heal my friend right here, or should we wait for Luke? Let's see how far I can move him at this point, though. So that's Snowfield. That's road. That's road. Road. I can't get him over here. However, he's out in the open now. Got a medical kit, though. Uh, let's see, how do I bring up... Oh, we're outside of the danger zone. Ooh, <laughs> just barely. That was close. I'm just gonna go ahead and stand here in the middle of the road. Nothing could possibly go wrong with this woman with the big old rifle staring at me. Well, um, let's find out exactly what cannot go wrong for you. Bada bing. Bada boom. Do I have enough for a heal? Yes, I do. Alright. Now we cooking. So is this still road? Yes, so I'm sure we're following the road. I could go all the way down here, can I? Why can't I walk through here? Oh wow, rocky terrain is negative four. Wowie. Okay. Well, that's as far as I'm gonna move. And then my boy. Where's my boy go? Still this building? Mm, that would be a bad shot. Yeah, let's go into this building right here. Up. Oh. They are now alerted. Really? Going into the building alerted them? I beg to differ on that one, but um, I'm gonna hold my turn here for this. Ooh, you discover a little bit of HP in the shacks too. How about that? All right. How's this? Sniper? Is that a my team or? There's a sniper up there just ahead. I'll take care of him. 
My rifle is more efficient against a distant target. Leave it to me. But I mean, you got like a lot of... Well, you know what? You did have a lot of things happening here, but I just realized my boy could just toss a nice little sweet grenade right there. And all these boys are just gone. <laughs> and then... Gladum. Sniper. Yeah, you had the height advantage, but you're also just hanging out there doing nothing else. Okay. So, let's move you here. We're effectively done. There's no more units left over, right? No. But wait! <gasps> oh, God. Okay, I'm not, I'm not crazy about where my girl is because she's out in the open right now. But, I mean, potentially she could probably blat these two dudes. Leave it. Don't get into a confrontation. Yeah, I know. I just want to leave. I already got my, my kills. Beat it. Did you kill these two guys? Yes, without missing. Perfect. So those guys should still have, like, the guys in the east or west, I should say, should have a, a little road ahead before they get to us, so. Move her. Homeboy's done. Next turn, she's out. Yeah, we're, we're fine. They are Nora suckers. <laughs> Lost track of the targets. Then they've gone down the mountain. Don't let them get away. Full pursuit. We're not done yet. Chapter 1, Act 1, First Battle complete. And I think we got everything, right? Yes. Perfect. Got some research points. One restart. Nah, we good. No need to restart a perfect run. Skill enhancements, so we went up to level 2, a little bit of HP, accuracy, and evadence for the quote-unquote mysterious girl. And we got three, one and one for us here on Mendo. I think we've given them the slip for the time being. You knew how the URNC soldiers would move and react. It's almost as if you anticipated everything. What if I tell you I have experienced this before? Would you believe me? Huh? You have that look of utter disbelief on your face, though. Do I? Am I really such an open book? If I'd known Anderson was working with agents like you, I would've just tried to sort things out on my own. You know Vice Captain Anderson? I knew it. You're not a local. You're the objective of our mission. You're Bake... Bakery, yeah? Stop using that horrendous code name. <laughs> I like That's the reason why I like Based a little bit better, you know? Then what do I call you? I don't see the point of giving my name to someone who could die in just a few minutes. Wow. We're here. Here? You have binoculars on you. Look towards the bottom of the mountain. That's where we were supposed to rendezvous with Squad 2 too. Damn it. They're camping a rendezvous point. These bastards. They even sent in armor units. No sign of the bodies of our men. Has the scene already been cleaned up? There must have been an intelligence leak. Not only did they jam our comms, they even mobilized heavy weaponry and armored units. They obviously planned this. That shockwave was still a hallucination. Nobody here. She's been recovered this time. Did they figure out her identity? I've got to find her fast. Whomst do you speak of? What? Wait, where are you going? I've learned all I need to know here. But you can't just go off on your own. Since you're my mission objective, I've got to protect you. Protect me? You? Even though I'm the only one left. You saw what it's like down there. The evacuation was a complete failure. The enemy knows our every move. I'm better off on my own. I'm a tier 2 field agent from the Antarctic Union. You can call me Mendo. I, I swear I will help you evacuate to safety. Will you now? Then please tell me, Mr. Mendo, where exactly should we evacuate to? I... Oh, hold on. That's the satellite phone. Why would it be ringing at a time like this? Aren't they jamming comm signals? Who is it? I'm not sure either. L let me check. This... The caller ID is encrypted. If I remember correctly, the code phrase for answering this call is... Wait, you're taking the call here? You do realize that will expose our location, right? If it's an encrypted call, it must be from our informant. Both of us could use all the information we get right now. Keep the call for one minute. Also, I want to hear the whole conversation. Fine. I 
I'm Ghost. I await your confession. Remember tonight, or it's the beginning of always. I didn't expect a call from Ukraine. I'm glad someone picked up. What's, situa what's the situation on your end? Not good. We're trying to evacuate. What about you? Relatively safe for now. Don't think anyone is on to me yet. The minute I had some privacy, I tried to contact you to see if there's any survivors that can make sure I get paid. So you knew about the ambush beforehand. Why didn't you warn us about it? I'm sorry. The time I found out, it was already too late. The commander at the base deployed a force to derail your mission, but they didn't inform the regular garrison. Really? God damn it. The search target has escaped. The brass just gave the order to one in the search and sent more men to seal off the area. The target is safe. I'm planning to make for the safe house to the east. Can you give me any kind of assistance? I see. That's a relief. I guess you're going to evacuate to the east too. There's a drawbridge over there. As far as I know, most of the garrison has been sent on patrol, so they can make a run for it in that direction. I remember the bridge. It's a shortcut connecting the two peaks, right? Cross it and you'll be out of the URNC's current search area. I can't draw any more attention, so you'll have to deal with the enemies in your way yourselves. Many thanks. We'll be on our way then. I seem to have an answer to your previous question now. Don't get cocky. Don't you think you revealed a bit too much? Don't forget, you got ambushed because someone gave you away. I just gave them some necessary context. It won't affect their plan. Can this man be trusted? I'm not authorized to know his real name, but Carl told me this man is a mid-ranking officer in this area. The intelligence he provided has been an instrumental to all of MIT's operations the last 10 years. The early phase of this plan also went smoothly thanks to his help. Without any other source of information now, I have no choice but to trust him. In any case, it beats being sitting ducks, don't you think? I just hope you're right. Let's find the bridge that Green mentioned first. And if the defenses of the area are as substantial as he promised, we can make our move. We must be cautious. There are bound to be obstacles in our way east. The URNC has set up a line of defense at the village ahead. I think there's quite a few soldier garrisons there. Yeah, I noticed. Fortunately, it's snowing pretty heavily. We might be able to take advantage of their blind spots and pass through. Alright. So, first battle, we have to go through the blizzard now. Roughly 40 minutes later, is it? Now we get to, I guess, here. Level up our characters in between and any of that jazz we have to do. Information. Everything seems to be locked here at the moment. As a demo, plus in the middle of nowhere, more than likely we probably can't use any of those research points we've actually accumulated. We'd have production over here, though. Mm, basic items. Fragmentation grenades requires 300. We actually do have the amount for that. I guess it's a perfect spot for us to wrap up on this one. Hopefully you have enjoyed, however, as I mentioned, down below I'll have a link for you in case you want to check this out for yourselves. I'm not sure how long this will be up for, it's happening right now during the current Steam Next Fest. But uh, one that I'm very excited for, and I think a lot of you girls Frontline fans will also more than likely enjoy this one. Especially into strategy RPGs as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, I'll catch you next time.